Tory before in the Black Mollies. Yep. Yeah. Which is the Black Mollies. The Black I've heard of them. Shocker. <laughs> Keep it under your hat. That's a cool hat. I thought maybe there was going to be a tarantula in there pulling some of that Chris Angel crap. This guy plays in numerous bands. Yeah, but this one as of the last five years, so that's all I'm going to talk about. Oh, that's it? You're like Mark McGuire. I'm not talking about the past. No. So, um... He's got raw. Right <laughs> so, uh, what the hell is it like playing in the as the fucking Bullet Boys? It's out of control as of late. Long drives, hard shows, <laughs> hundreds of people. It's been it's been really very great. loud, really loud, very loud. A lot of girls, Wind. lots no and Wind. lots and lots of girls. Just Wind. let's talk to Rich about that. Juice Newton, Juice Newton, <laughs> when. <laughs> I just want to say one thing. Bowie Torian. Pimboozled uh, uh, my guitar player. Oh, that's all I have to say. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's an inside thing. <laughs> no. They'll get it. No, we've, we've been known to spread a little terror and run a little smack because we're having a good time out here. And, you know, hey. We're it, bringing arena rock. I heard your Bon Jovi crack. What was that about? I, I'm, he's, he's filthy rich and I'm not. But hopefully he owns a what a, a freaking basketball team or some shit, no, a football team. It's awesome. Arena, arena football team. I said, you know, I, I'm not as rich as him, but God willing, maybe one of these days I Can will. We get a shot of this guy over here with this lady. Ninja Larry? Oh, your your tour manager. Spin that camera. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Oh, that's Mr. Slinky. He's not going to spin the camera, so he's going to leave it to the audience's imagination. Look. Ninja Larry only works for me. Does take no direction from 1980s Ninja Larry? bands. Legend. Legend. So we got the Ninja Winner. and Slinky. Legend this man. the lens. <laughs> legend of the lens. Oh, legend of the lens. It's a little time off. It's hard to get time to shave your balls, you know, when you get to the room. <laughs> well, it's hard to do it You got to time your dumps. <laughs> it's, 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 it's hell. It's a tough life, this dude. It's not good. No, it's not good. Not, not, your ball you sack. want in on this? This is turning, into, this is turning into a train sack. wreck. It gets a little... See, see, my co-host, Cousin Chris, who usually is here, but he decided he wasn't coming because he wanted nothing to do with the Bolt Boys because he said, you guys are divas. You're like all the other 80s bands. Can we say fuck, fuck on here? Guy. Fuck him. Fuck you, whatever your name is, asshole. <laughs> it's Uncle Craig. Call him out! Uncle Craig, you fucking fuck hair. Fuck you. Hey, we have an Uncle Lito out with this us. This shit's shaved, but you can fucking suck my sack, ass fuck. L-E-E-D-O. Yeah. Well, now, now, that, now that I've got... Our fucking tour manager can't even shave his balls. He's got one fucking hand available. Look, he's been begging chicks to shave his balls on this whole... Well, 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 gentlemen, now that I've got you fired up... You know all that will be edited. Please. Yes, it'll never make air. So, what you're going like, to hear of this you, is one fucking word. <laughs> one fucking word the whole interview. Well, that's all you'll hear. Now that I've got you guys fired up, my co host, who's called you many divas and everything else, insults Ninja Larry on a regular basis. Oh, Ninja Larry, that's not you right? Rule. He's the legend. Legend of the Lens. Yeah. Legend how, of could, the how could you legend diss a guy like the that? Lambs. There you go. That's a, that's a <laughs> That's that's a yeah, that's Wasn't that a band that one of you guys were in? <laughs> he might be just jealous. Just jealous. Now, um, where exactly are you guys going on this second leg of this tour? Wow, all over the place. Um, we're starting in the States probably. My Garage. Well, what's our first show actually? April, April 18th is, is the next run. Yeah. So until May 30th, and we'll end at the M3 Festival with Judas Priest, uh, Twisted Sister, in Rat, Baltimore, Labor Day, Rat, Labor Day weekend. So our second leg will start April 18th. We'll go home in about three days. We've been out here for about 19 or 20 so far. Mm -hmm. And then um, regroup the 15th, yep. um, get a little rehearsal in into L.A., and then right back out again. So and we've been having a busy blast, year Jiggy. so far. It's been hard, but it's been rough. We were supposed to be, first we were supposed to be in a bus. Right. Then that fell through at the last minute. Then we said RV, nice one. Yep. That fell through. 
So guess what? Ten guy, ten guys in a fifteen passenger uh, van. A N van. You're gonna be touring in a van down oh, by the, the river. river. <laughs> Thank you for finishing that line. You know what? If it was good enough for the Ramones, it's good enough for us. Yeah, we're here. Yeah, man. We should tackle. The body's kind of. We should tackle Jimmy right now. <laughs> yeah, what? Can we tackle you? For the end of it. Should like. <laughs> I. I I'll give you the signal because I got two or three questions. <laughs> now, um, you played in all these different venues, and I understand that there's all sorts of places to play. But what about that light show? <laughs> <laughs> this place. No lie, this place was the best place we've ever played. This place right? absolutely great. the best crowd. Are you kidding me? All because of her. We got treated great it here. The place stuff. was packed. Yeah. I mean, I mean, listen. For us to even be on the road is, is just a blessing. All, all, all fun and crap aside, there's a lot of bands that aren't, that are at home. What are you paying my microphone for, sir? <laughs> you know, they're, sit, they're just sitting at home and they're not working, and we're really lucky to be working out here, yeah. man. That's true. And the Blue Goat Rock, right? Does the Blue Goat Rock? The Blue Goat fucking rocks. Rocks. Wins. 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 One of the best Wins. ones so far. Yeah, Wins. Yes, for sure. Now, uh, you guys have you guys have played all over the frickin' place, various bands as the Bullet Boys. All these things that's going on. What has been the crappiest place you've ever played? And if you want to throw somebody in the bus, go ahead. But I mean, from the has there been any bad venues? One night in Texas. <laughs> or no, Rojas's house, I should oh. say. Oh. Rojas's bedroom one night in Texas. Springfield, Springfield, Virginia at the uh, Red Roof Inn. Oh, my God. Oh. Trash bag. I'm calling the trash bag. Trash bag. On the cock oh. as a That's rubber. That's all we're saying. Yeah, we didn't need to. No, that was a good club. We didn't need it, to, the we didn't after need to party was the worst one. Elaborate anymore on that. Yeah, we're done. That's, we're done with that question. <laughs> One one final question, and that's your cue, by the way. Uh, <laughs> now, you guys have played in different bands. You've seen everybody and their brother. Are you guys just happy as hell that you guys are still around? Because there's absolutely. other bands that are yeah, not. Yeah, absolutely, Jiggy. It's <laughs> yep, a lot of absolutely. fun. And before we sign off, though, I'd like to say that Jaeger Monster sponsored definitely this interview. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jaeger. <laughs> and Monster. Yes. So, uh, so when's the new record coming out? Man, it looks like the second week of second May. Second week of May. Yep. So uh, what, what, is, what is the best track on there? Oh, God, I think we're all going to say something different on that one. They're all... They're all